Hey, how's it going? My name is Raleigh from PMHOA.pro. Thank you for checking out this video. Today, what I'm gonna be doing is sharing with you the steps of pitching property management companies and HOAs. So if you're a home service company, roofer, HVAC, painter, mold remediation, anything in between, these steps are really going to benefit you because we personally as a company have used these steps over and over again, time and time again with great success. So if you haven't heard my story, how I got started in this, or you wanna check out some endorsements, the link is in the description for that. But in this video, I wanna walk you through these steps that we personally use. Now it's important to note that whether you do the selling yourself, you have someone on, on your staff to do the selling, or you intend to hire a third party agency, sales as a service company, such as PMHOA.pro, the steps are virtually the same, right? The steps are the steps. The process is the process. Sales is a process especially business development sales is a very, very focused process. So I wanna, I wanna walk you through the steps today, okay? So check this out. Let's start at the first stage, which is lead generation. Finding all the PMHOA decision makers in a service radius or, along with their direct contact information. Now this is where most business development people get thrown off because this step itself will either make you or break you you have to know exactly who the customers are in your market. This is the starting place. Who are the key decision makers at property management companies and HOAs in your service radius? Let's put them all on a list. Let's know exactly who they are. Let's get a bird's eye view of the market. This is really what the first step is and it actually builds a lot of confidence because you can see the market in its totality. Now, one thing to note is that the people who you think are the key decision makers might not always be that way. Sometimes it's not the maintenance coordinator. Sometimes it's the individual property managers. Sometimes it's not the individual property managers and it's only the big boss who makes the final decision in regards to vendors. So this is the first step. Second step is you need to have something to say that's unique about your business, right? Otherwise, you're calling these companies, you're emailing these companies, and you're just saying, hey, I'm a, I'm a roofer, I'm a plumber. Do you guys have any work? And although that will get you more business than if you were just sitting in front of your computer not doing anything, the bottom line is that you have to know what your competitive advantages are. And even more importantly than that, what are the competitive advantages that you offer to this class of customers? property management companies, HOAs, what are they looking for? What can you say in relation to what you guys offer that would resonate with that customer base? Okay, so that's the second step. Third step is you have to create a presentation. If you don't have a presentation, you know, you're missing a huge opportunity because the presentation will keep you in the fight. The presentation will give you the chance to be very memorable as compared to your competitors because nine times out of 10, frankly, 999 times out of a thousand, you could reach out to all the competitors in your, in your market and say, hey, do you guys have a presentation for property management companies? They won't have one. So when you bring this to the table, your professionalism increases. Not only that, but it gives you the opportunity to build some rapport with the customer to you know um, get to know them a little bit and then also just to, to share something memorable about your company that they won't forget all right additionally you have to have some sales literature right in order for you to reach out to this market you know you have to have something to, to share it and again it goes back to knowing what your competitive advantages are but then writing it in a way that's easily digestible for the customer that gets their attention that makes them interested in what you guys do and frankly makes you stand out beyond everyone else that's reaching out to them. So that's the sales literature component. After you have developed that, then you really have the outreach process that begins. Now the best form of outreach is, is cold email. It's still the best. It saves you the most time. It saves you the most money. It actually has very high open rates today if you know what you're doing. And um, you know, a lot of people think email is just super easy but it's not really that easy. It's easy in the sense that everyone knows how to send an email, but imagine if you have 2,000 contacts in your market trying to reach everyone through email. I mean, the average business development sales rep is gonna pull their hair out. It's so boring to just focus on email. So you really have to have an email strategy for you to make, make some uh, strides in this, in this market. Then you have the, the telephone the faithful telephone, the old faithful telephone. And, and the reason why you need to have telephone skills 
is because there's a lot of people who will open email, but a lot of people will not move forward in the sales process just with email. They're gonna need a phone call. A lot of people will open the email, but then you need to follow up on the phone. You need to know how to get past the gatekeeper. You need to have you know something to say. That goes back to what the competitive advantages are. You need to know how to handle objections. The telephone is a make or break tool, in my opinion, in regards to B2B commercial sales, reaching out to property management companies, HOAs. You really need the telephone. You know, you can only get so far with email. All right, presentation. Now, the presentation, you need to be able to present to the customer. A lot of times you can get very far with a telephone, but how do you take the relationship to the next level? How do you get past, you know, just being another roofer, HVAC plumber, mold remediation company calling them? You really need to have a presentation and know how to present to the customer. That includes everyone on staff who has an individual relationship with vendors. And if you have done this part right, you'll have a very good understanding of who at that company you need to present to. Because frankly, some companies, let's say they have 20 employees, there's gonna be like five or six that have individual relationships with vendors. Maybe they use the same vendors, maybe not. Oftentimes they don't. Oftentimes they do have individual relationships and that means that you have to be presenting to a lot of them. Then the most important part of any sales process is the follow-up. I like to say it this way. If you could stand in front of all the property management companies and HOAs in your service radius, give the greatest pitch of your life, have a full auditorium filled with people, you, you, everyone's clapping, guess what? Three days later, they're gonna forget all about you. And that's just the way it is. It's the world we live in. You know, Everyone's distracted. There's a lot of opportunities, a lot of options out there. So the follow-up process is their make or break moment. And there's some interesting things about the follow-up process that people don't consider, which is that it does build trust. It does build confidence in your, in your service. The customer starts to have more respect for you. They start to have more trust in you because you're not going away. You're following up with the customer. You know, you're staying in front of them. And ultimately you build top of mind awareness so that when they do get the work in, you're front and center. So those are the steps that you really have to go through. These are the steps that we've used at uh, PMHOA.pro. And you know, I invite you to, to try those steps, whether you're gonna be doing the sales yourself, you hired someone. Now, he, he, here's the next thing I wanted to, to share. These are the steps, but we at PMHOA Pro, we have a particular sequence of steps that we go through using what I just shared with you. It's a little bit more unique. It's a little bit something um, off the beaten path. Our particular sales process, which I would be happy to share with you. So if you are you know, interested in building more relationships with property management companies, HOAs, and you want to learn a little bit more about our particular sales sequence, I call it the PMHOA dot pro sequence, something very unique we're doing. You wanna see a live demo of that, how it works. And most importantly, if you're in home services, we can definitely assist you with that. Link is in the description. You can go to the page, check out our endorsements, and also book a demo there at a time that's convenient for you. Um, that's all for now. Thank you for watching this video.